What's up, G Fusion fans? This is Philip, and welcome back to another video. So it's been a while since we talked about uh, Got Shard as a show, and you know, while we're basically nearing the end of the series, uh, this got me thinking because there is still one big question that hasn't even been answered yet. I know we're probably gonna get some answers, you know, further down the line as we again near the end of the series, but who's Hotaro's dad? You know, ever since episode one, we've already, you know, been shown this family picture of the Ichinosa family with the father's face, you know, being covered by some sort of, you know, environment, like there's some, so, some sort of ornament that's covering Hotaro's dad's face. And, you know, he's been mentioned here and there, like, for example, uh, the X-Rex episodes, um, the Fire Gotchard arc, and, uh, you know, uh, we do see, again, Hotaro's dad's picture being shown in between, especially when uh, Hotaro's mom talks to the picture. So, he's been uh, missing for a while now. Uh, we have heard that he's an adventurer, and, um, well, again, uh, I guess that explains why he's missing so he's been on an adventure but again we don't see his face we don't know who he is we just hear him referenced uh, uh you know uh at some points but again this gave me the curiosity and the wild imagination that led to the making of this video so i actually thought initially uh that the man who gave Kotaro the gacha driver was his dad. But it turns out that it's wrong and that guy actually was Rinne's dad. So I guess uh, Fuga is off the list, you know? Yeah, so that kind of leaves this uh, position open for anyone else who you know, appears to be of some similar age, but, um, well, again, someone's old enough, I guess, more or less, to become Hotaro's dad. But, uh, I'm gonna go on a bit of a stretch here with who I'm going to, uh, mention as Hotaro's dad. Uh, again, this is more of a crazy idea, so... Nothing's set in stone yet, at least as of this video. Uh, I could be proven wrong, but uh, the possibility of this guy being Hotaro's dad isn't zero. So, well, let me elaborate on that. And before I elaborate, let me tell you who I think Hotaro's dad is and Drumroll, please. So, drrr. it could be Grion himself. Okay, okay, okay. So, before you go wild in the comment section, hear me out. So, I, I do see, I do understand that Grion looks quite young to be Hotaro's dad. Um, I mean, uh, Kenta Kamakari is, uh, you know, Kenta Kamakari is quite young. I mean, uh, well, he is, uh, definitely older than, uh, Junsei Motojima, but not old enough to be his dad kind of thing. Again, like, actor-wise speaking, but character-wise, it's possible, okay? Now, we do see Rion and, um, Fuga, you know, they, they work together as uh, members of the Alchemy Associ Association, probably uh, they've been teaching at the Alchemy Academy. Uh, we really don't know much of the details, but we could assume as such, right? So being elite members, being high, I guess they're high ranking, uh, you know, in the Academy, in the Association. Uh, we really don't know, but again, we could say that at least they were partners. Now, we could attribute to you know, we could attribute Grion's uh, more youthful features to his use of alchemy. I guess um, I mean he has obtained um, well 
a substantial amount of power during his time. Yeah, uh, I guess when he unlocked the secrets of alchemy, or at least what we think would be. So, uh, again, it probably led to him, you know, at least maintaining a more youthful look, or at least his aging has slowed down to the point that he appears to n have not aged at all. Again, uh, this is just a wild shot in the dark, so I'm not uh, sure if I'm gonna hit anything, but... Well, if we go back to the Ichinose family picture, again, Hotaro's dad is blurred out. You know, he's covered and not shown in any form. Now, I understand that Hotaro might have been looking at that picture for quite some time, and maybe time has quite passed, so he might not even recognize his own father, even though, you know, uh, we could say that Hotaro's memories, again, uh, were quite, um, I would say, blurred as well. So, uh, if we go back to the Fire God Shard arc, so when he went back into the past, he met Fuga, or we do see a young Hotaro meeting Fuga, and in order to protect this, the secrets of alchemy and the Ouroboros uh, thing, so, uh, Fuga had to not really erase, but hide Hotaro's memories. So, it, it appears that, uh, you know, it would appear that he had never met uh, Hopper 1, uh, Steamliner, and, you know, he hasn't been in that dimension before. That's why it seems like the first time, or it appears to Hotaro and, of course, us as the viewer. So, it, it would appear that it was his first time being in that mysterious place. Now, we could say that in that picture, well, I guess, uh, you know, Mr. Ichinose, a.k.a. Grion, uh, we could put question marks in there, so we're not yet sure. He looked much more, yeah, he, he looked much younger. He probably had, you know, different hair, uh, maybe shorter hair, uh, without that mustache and, uh, I guess those glasses mm. but again this is just trying to fill in uh, the gaps with the information that we have so far there are still like potential things that could develop further in uh, upcoming episodes and again I could be wrong right so this is just my idea and how I'm trying to make sense of this possibility with Grion possibly becoming Hotaro's dad. Now, uh, there's actually another thing that I wanted to talk about, which is the 100 second Kemi. Now, we do know that the Kemi are artificial beings, um, but uh, apparently... Uh, we know that there were 101 Kemis at the beginning of the show, but recently there was, uh, you know, a report of a 100 second Kemi. And by this, as of this recording, this is actually the same day that uh, the episode for that 100 second Kemi came out. And um, we're gonna have to scrap this idea. So, my idea for the 100 second Kemi, I initially thought that it was Hotaro himself, okay? But again, after watching today's episode, so we're gonna scrap that. Um, uh, we could talk about it another time, I guess. But uh, again, Hotaro being a Kemi himself, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> uh, we just uh, found out that, well, there's a reason why he's able to transform into God Shard, and Nijigon had to do something with it. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, so, uh, you know, go watch uh, the episodes. Uh, I I'm kind of lost now, so I kind of lost count how many episodes we've been so far, so sorry about that. But, yeah, Nijigon had something to do with Hotaro's ability to transform into Kamen Rider Gotchard and be able to use alchemy in the first place. But, 
again, uh, as to who Hotaro's dad is, we don't know yet for sure. I'm just assuming it's Grion, and you know, what a big twist. So the enemy that we've been fighting along, oh my god, it's my dad. But uh, I guess even uh, Grion himself, maybe ha after being uh, absent for many years from Hotaro's life. So I guess uh, we could say that after that picture was taken, you know, Hotaro's dad, aka Grion, you know, for, for now. So went on a, an adventure and probably couldn't recognize his son. Uh, and again, Hotaro, uh, even, even though with that picture he couldn't recognize his father because of uh, probably some changes in appearance. But what I would assume, uh, how, you know, this could develop into, you know, uh, Hotaro discovering that Grian could be his father, we could say because so far Hotaro's mom has never really been involved in all this kemi stuff she's always at the family restaurant and you know we kind of been leaving her out of the action but there might come an episode where you know she's forced out into the open she gets involved and Maybe she encounters Grion along the way and recognizes that it's her long lost husband and probably uh, reveals to Hotaro that that guy's your dad, you know? Like, what? So that's how I imagine at least how this would pan out. So again, this is just my own speculation, my own imagination, but. It's still open for debate, and again, I could be wrong. So yeah, that's uh, how I think about who Hotaro's dad could be. So if you have other ideas, you know, uh, if you have your own theories as to who Hotaro's dad might be, leave it down in the comment section. So anyways, thank you for watching, and as always, please do leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and don't forget that notification bell. So you get the latest from JE Fusion. This has been Phil, and I'll see you next time. Bye.